Hi, my name is Dana, and I help to make satellites by making sure that all the different satellite parts work together as they should. I have a couple questions that I'd like to answer for you. The first is from Thomas, who's nine years old. Thomas asks, when do you think people will land on Mars? That's a tough question, Thomas. I think before we can send people to Mars, we need to develop a few bits of key technology. The first thing to remember is that space is a really harsh environment for people. And as you move away from Earth, it gets even harsher. So in order to travel to Mars, we would need to develop really robust spaceships, but also Martian habitats that would protect us from things like harmful radiation, vacuum, and the cold. The other thing to remember is that on Mars, we won't have access to power sockets like we do here. So we need to rely on things like batteries and solar panels to help power our computers, our machines, and maybe even robots. Now, we have that technology now, but we need it to be more capable in order to support life on Mars, especially in the long term. The other thing is, we'll be bringing a whole lot of stuff with us. And that means we'd have to drop a really, really heavy package down onto the planet. We'd have to bring things for our habitat, to generate power, but also things like water, food, you name it. Now, we can land things on Mars now, but because the package is so, would be so much heavier, that would make it a lot harder and more dangerous. So we need to make sure we have the ability to do that too. To go back to your question, I think it'll take a few years before all these bits come together to make a working mission. But when they do, we have something really exciting to look forward to. The next question is from Zoe, who's eight years old. Zoe asks, how many satellites has the UK launched? Good question, Zoe. I didn't know the answer to this myself, so I had to do a little bit of digging. I found that 170 satellites are owned by the UK government and British companies. Now, because the UK doesn't have rockets of its own, it has to work together with international companies in places like Russia, India, and the United States to help get those satellites into space. There is one exception though, a satellite named Prospero-1 that was built in the UK and launched on a UK rocket in 1971. But even they had to work with Australia to help get a launch site. Hope that answers your question. Thanks.